Hi, welcome back to the channel. So today I'm going to be talking about stretches and mobility, things that I do throughout my working day that sort of ease my back pain. So if you haven't been on this channel before, I am Sarah Louise and on this channel I talk all about scoliosis and spinal fusion and just everything in between. So I'm just going to give a bit of a pre-warning before this video starts that these are basically exercises that I found that really help me. They may not help you and I'm not um, a medical health professional or anything like that. So this is just going off my views, what works well for me. Obviously, you'll need to try your own things out and see what works well for you. So I'm just going to get started, show you a few of the things that I do while I am sat here. So I'm in the office at the moment, which is where I spend most of my day. I tend to maybe do an hour or so here, then go and lay down and do work for an hour or so, then come back. Um, that really helps with my pain levels, I find, being in different positions and not just sat at a desk all day. But even though I might only be sat at the desk for um, a couple of hours up to like seven, eight hours a day, these are the exercises that I will do to try and ease some of that pain. Um, sitting down for long lengths of time for me is the thing that causes me the most pain. And especially when I'm like hard at work and I'm trying to concentrate um, and I'm stressed or whatever, I tend to tense up a lot more and therefore cause my pain to be even worse. So that's great. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. These are just really, really basic, basic movements, but I just thought I'd share them. So I'm quite lucky, I've got this debt, got this. Well, I've got my desk and then I've got this chair. This chair um, seems to be quite good for me, probably the best chair that I've had. Um, I'll do another video on sort of desk stuff um, to do with spinal fusion and like sitting at a desk for a long time. But yeah, so I'm, I'm sat at my desk and in, those, in these exercises, I usually say, stay sat down. So the first one is literally head tilts. So simply just side to side head tilts and instead of doing that for a couple of seconds I would hold it on each side for 30 seconds um, and that that sometimes is quite hard for my back if I'm if I'm already in a little bit of pain I can feel it today just doing it like that I can just feel it ever so slightly just pulling on my back so another thing that I also do which is pretty similar is I bring my head forward forward but to the side and hold that as well forward into the side so I can just feel this stretching from my neck all the way down my back so if that feels quite comfortable then I just place my hand I'm not pushing just placing my hand at the, at the back of my head just adding a tiny tiny bit of extra weight so I can just feel it, feel it quite a lot more, just adding that little bit of extra weight down there. And then on the other side. So you can do the same thing, not the forward to the side one, but to the side. Just adding a little bit more of a stretch here. A lot of my tension is just all in my shoulders. So I'm not pulling, I'm not pulling my head in any way. I'm literally just having a couple of fingers on my head and just stretching to the side, just stretching. So that's sort of what I do for my neck area. Oh, it's just crack now. And that's quite good. So it doesn't, it doesn't just do my neck area but it sort of travels all the way down my back um, which is, which I feel like is quite good for me. So I just wanted to also add in that I have another video which I will place somewhere which talks about all about mobility with spinal fusion and my mobility 
Um, so that will give you a bit of an insight if you have scoliosis and you are maybe thinking about having the surgery, it will show you what type of mobility you might have as well. Um, I know that everyone's different, but maybe it will help you out a little. So I've just jumped down onto the floor now. Again, I am in my office. I do not have my yoga mat in this room at any time because it's not big enough to have it um, sort of rolled out. So I leave it in the living room. But if you do have a yoga mat, um, I would probably use that. But it's fine just doing it on the floor like I do. So I'm just going to show you the ones that I do on the floor. Again, these are really, really basic really simple you might already do them without actually realizing um but yeah just again things that slightly ease my back and in particular my lower back for this one i'll just place you there hopefully that's okay <laughs> so the first one is just this so i can really feel that stretch in here in my lower back Again, I can just open my legs up wider and then further down and holding this. I can just feel that in my lower back now. So the next ones that I do, which were actually recommended by my physio, um, which I try and include every day, is the ones where I'm laid. I should probably be doing this on a yoga mat, really. <laughs> but so I'm laid on my back and I'm just doing one leg raises while keeping this leg, leg bent. To make it a bit easier, I can have my this leg bent and go down. So I only actually do this movement on using my right leg um, because that's the one where it needs to tighten my abs. Because obviously with scoliosis, your ribs will twist. Um, so you'll need to do things on differing sides. So that's why it's probably best to ask your physio. But again, these are just for me. So this is the Superman pose. <laughs> so I've got this arm outstretched in front of me, laying on my side, leg outstretched out the bottom. Really good stretch through here. Really good stretch. So I'm, I'm sort of wanting to stretch these muscles while tightening the others. Definitely feel like I should have been doing those on a yoga mat to make them look a little bit better. But there we are, just really simple. Um, the stretches that I do for my upper back, so my neck, and then also my lower back. Um, and then, yeah, stuff to do with my rib rotation. So in total, those will take about five minutes a day. Um, I tend to do them once a day, but in the evenings, I'll sometimes, after I've had tea, after I've had a bit of a rest, my back will begin to tighten up again. So I'll just go onto the floor in the living room and just do them on the rug. And it's absolutely fine. I, I could, you can do them multiple times a day. It's not like it's strenuous and it only takes five minutes to do. Um, so I would really recommend finding something that works for you. Something really easy, really quick, so that you don't feel like demotivated by um, doing it and having to spend 15 minutes, say, doing these exercises. And especially if you are at a desk a lot of the time, I can imagine you two um, feeling that sort of pain throughout the day. So, um, yeah, make sure to leave me a comment if you have any other stretches that you do really simple ones that you can share with others. And if you haven't already, please subscribe and see more about this scoliosis and spinal fusion content and let me know if there's anything else you want to see here on this channel. 
Um, so thank you for watching and I'll hopefully see you in another video soon.